Hi, I'm Matt Lindley. And I'm Beth Lahr. Welcome to the Wild Wild Web. It's a brave new world out there online, and we're here to show you the best of the best. If it's entertaining and it's online, it's right here. Only on the Wild Wild Web. Webcams are big, from famous landmarks to women giving birth online. They give an up-close and personal look into the lives of everyday people. <laughs> everyday people like us. Actually, there's a webcam out there for just about everybody and everything. And if you stay tuned right after this segment, we'll show you how to set up a webcam for yourself. Want to be famous? Well, forget People Magazine and MTV, because there's a whole new world to conquer. Introducing the Cyber Celebrity. Since the digital camera first became widely available in the early 90s, webcam sites have been mushrooming. In households and offices all over the country, people are setting up digital cameras, which send pictures at regular intervals and then broadcast them over the web instantly. I live my life online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The most famous site, JennyCam, which features pretty 22-year-old Jennifer Ringley talking on the phone, eating cereal, and yes, having intimate relations, gets over 10,000 visitors a day. And thousands of people pay up to $20 a month to become members of sites where everyone from young men to married couples put on nightly presentations for their subscribers. It's the new voyeurism with computers replacing window telescopes. But while pretty women and smut may be fueling the craze, many of the sites are simply explorations of the mundane. An empty desk, someone sleeping, and even, we kid you not, mold growing. Still, people are watching. I don't take my clothes off, yet people still come and watch it. I'm not sure how to explain that. I'll walk around with my boxer shorts on and, and maybe no t-shirt or something like that, but that's just PG, that's not R. Ah, but not so at other webcam sites. This summer at OurFirstTime.com, a teenage couple claimed they were gonna lose their virginity online. That turned out to be a hoax, but this spring, a woman actually gave birth online. I definitely would not want to be that kid. Her site got so many hits, the server crashed. Are people so desperate for their 15 minutes of fame that they'll do anything in public? Who are these people anyway, and what's going on here? Really, I think there's just a voyeur in everyone. People like to just watch what other people are doing. They don't have to be movie stars. They don't have to be on TV. They don't have to be famous. They don't even have to be doing anything particularly interesting. The webcam originally was technology we used at the office. We set them up in our cubes, and I could see my coworker, and he could see me. And it was about funny for 30 seconds or so, and then it was just kind of, well, you know, that's interesting. But then people outside the office started watching it. It's almost like uh, some kind of extended family where people are interested in uh, keeping an eye on me. My mother loves the webcam. She can see me uh, pretty much any time. Um, and she likes, she likes the whole, uh, you know, I can look in on you and you didn't make your bed this morning. If things get too serious, sometimes I put on, you know, a little show for people and put on different kinds of... Different kinds of props, you know. But for others, it's all about the pursuit of the modern holy grail, celebrity. Jenny has been offered film roles and product endorsements and has even appeared on David Letterman. And then there's Anna Voog, who was just another punk rocker until Anna Cam propelled her first album into the stores. The net is the future of music. I did have my picture show up in a, one of my sister's friend's lockers in her high school a couple states away. I think there's a serious parallel between what, uh, what I do and what everyone does with webcams in the Truman Show. Every single moment broadcast live to the world. Yes, but unlike Truman, the Jim Carrey character who is unknowingly followed around by cameras, these guys are doing it by choice. I know when it takes it, the picture, I know where the cameras are, I know what the range of vision is. Check out the latest Monica Lewinsky gossip at Monica Cam, located across the street from her attorney's office. Or see what the cows are up to at the Almaden Research Center's cattle cam. Cows not your thing? Well, how about naked mole rats? There's also hamster cam, fish cam, llama cam, ferret cam, ant cam, parrot cam, elephant cam, rhino cam, lobster cam, iguana cam, frog cam, turtle cam, spider cam, roach cam, or litter box cam. And don't forget potty cam, candy cam, New York City's taxi cam, kelp cam, pumpkin cam, Sammy Slovaki cam, cactus cam, pen cam, Kremlin cam, and of course, spam cam. Here's Helga the dog, star of Helga Cam. Find out if there's a wait at the restaurant where you're going, or avoid a traffic jam by checking out various traffic cams. Real-time photos of the Titanic wreckage were available at the Discovery Channel site. Panoptic surveillance has even been used in New York City parks to spy on drug dealers. 
And if you need to know the weather in Antarctica today, you're all set. Usually all you ever see on TV screens or cathode ray tubes are you know, images of models and action heroes doing things and leading really fascinating lives. So maybe the appeal of these sites is their unfiltered reflection of our own lives. It's okay not to be James Bond. Not everyone has to be dodging bullets all the time. You, know, it's, you can just be sitting there writing a memo. You don't have to be Leonardo DiCaprio in order to have a good life and be, be happy. They remind people how precious the good stuff is when it finally comes along. Intrigued? Want to set up your own personal webcam? Well, here's Bethany Erickson with Gizmos, Gadgets, and Gear to show you how. Why do so many people put their faces, their dog's faces, their naked mole rat's faces in front of a webcam? Because they can. It's pretty simple. A webcam is saving photos and sending them up to your web page. So if you've got a home page, you've probably got an internet account that allows you to upload files. So your first step is to create a page where your webcam pictures will live. Next, you need a camera. There's a lot of kinds of cameras you can use, but I'm gonna use this Logitech camera because it's really easy. You just plug it in and install the drivers that came with it. Next, you need some webcam software. You can buy a package in the store or simply download a shareware program like Neil Colvin's Webcam 32. That's it, I'm all set up. I can make the world watch me. I can monitor my apartment from the office. I can even find out if there really is a monster in my living room closet. Some webcams are set up to start up when they detect motion, and soon Java-based webcam software will allow you to start up your webcam remotely. To find out more, go to getwild.com and click on our logo for the TV show content. I'm Bethany Erickson. See you there.